Hey everyone, so one of the most common questions that I get from people that are starting off doing mapping or starting a project is which mapping library should they use? Uh, a lot of people start off with only knowing about Google Maps because that's kind of the old standard, but there's so many. Google Maps, Leaflet, Mapbox, MapLibra, OpenLayers, Apple Maps, there's tons and there's way more than I've just said there. So when you're just getting started or you're just starting up on a new mapping project and you're a developer and maybe you haven't tackled this before, knowing which one to use can be a real challenge. So I'm doing this little series where I'm going to go over like five points on each mapping library to make it a little easier to digest. And I'll kind of be going over the strengths of each of them. And in that, I'll talk a little bit about where their weaknesses are as well. So hopefully you can make a good decision whether you're just starting mapping or whether you need to put this in a project which mapping library you should use. So today we're going to talk about Leaflet.js, which is kind of the granddaddy of open source mapping libraries. It's probably the most popular open source library out there. Uh, it's not the only one, there are others, but it's the big one and it's been around a long time and I learned a lot on Leaflet. So let's get into why it's good. So first of all, it's open source. Like I just said, that's the first point about it. So if you have a project that requires you to use open source um, materials with it, for instance, a lot of scientific projects are like this, or very early on in your project, or whatever the subject matter might be, activism, that sort of thing, Leaflet's a great choice because you're not going to be beholden to any other uh, corporation or anything like that. It's totally a community-driven effort. Now, that being said, it's important to bear in mind that uh, the tiles that you use, so the images that make up your map, come from a different place than from Leaflet. In the Leaflet examples, they use OpenStreetMaps, which is an open source tiling service, but not every tiling service that you can use with Leaflet is open source. Some of them are, others you will have to sign up, or they're proprietary, and there's lots to learn about that. So just don't think that every single leaflet map you see has nothing that's not open source about it. Depending on the tiles that they're using, some of that might be coming from a paid service or a locked service. So next thing about leaflet that I think is great, I've kind of touched on there before, which is that it's really great for prototyping, for simple projects, for projects where you're just getting started and you need to get a handle on things, or just getting started if you're a developer. I think that Leaflet is a really great mapping library for testing out ideas and to show off a simple idea in a map. Uh, it's not always the best if you're working on like a really high level, complicated map that's going to be used in extremely demanding production environments. And by that, I don't mean that it's slow. I just mean that the customization of Leaflet and the ability for it to handle heavy loads of data or uh, really complex uh, layers and things like that, sometimes doesn't stand up to some of the other mapping libraries out there. It's not to say it's not good, it's just to say it's got a particular place, which I generally think is more for smaller projects or for projects where you know the bounds and you know that Leaflet's gonna be able to handle what you're trying to do. This is particularly important, I think, for when it comes to very, very heavy data loads. Uh, Leaflet isn't working on a vector type system like Mapbox. So putting, for instance, hundreds of thousands of points on a leaflet map will cause problems. That being said, for everything else, I think it's great, and especially if you're starting out learning, which leads me to number three, which is that I think leaflet is a fantastic. I think it's the best um, one if you're just starting off learning mapping and you're trying to get into the whole mapping world as a developer. Uh, if you've had some experience with JavaScript and JavaScript libraries, Leaflet's going to be a very easy transition because though there's a lot of specific geographic knowledge and mapping knowledge that you need in order to do online mapping, Leaflet leads you into that by having a very developer-friendly documentation where you don't have to be a total geographic expert to understand everything you're doing. And it's a great way to sort of get introduced to concepts around coordinates, geojsons, layers, different types of geographies, lines and polygons and points, um, and all these different concepts that, you're gonna, that are going to come in really handy as you start amping up your mapping skills. So I think Leaflet is great for developers. Uh, and going off on that, the next point is a, a bit of an augmentation on that one, which is the, uh, not just the documentation is good, but the community. 
The community is fantastic with Leaflet. It's been around for so long and it being open source, people are very passionate and love it. So you're gonna find so much Stack Overflow help. You're gonna find great tutorials on Leaflet's site, going from everything just like adding very basic points all the way up to really complicated, like how do I do data analysis? How do I integrate chloropleth maps? All kinds of crazy stuff going on that is really awesome to just walk through and learn. So in terms of the community and what the community has generated for new developers and for developers who have worked on Leaflet for a long time, there's so much that you're very, very, very rarely going to flounder and have no idea how to do what you're trying to do with Leaflet. It's very flexible in that manner and people have used it in React, they've used it in React Native, they've built out so much so many implementations of Leaflet that you're going to be able to use it all over the place and for uh, whatever type of project that you're trying to work on. And lastly, on that, on that last note, but I think it's still separate, is the plugins that Leaflet has. These really power up Leaflet beyond just being like a data display mechanism for mapping information into being like a fully functional mapping library. So what I'm talking about here is the ability for you to add routing, geocoding, that is like searching for a location and having it go to that location on the map, clustering, heat maps, all kinds of complicated, like how to do layers of data display for heavier data in a, in a way that doesn't break the browser. All these are developed as plugins, which are in a section on Leaflet's site that are gonna uh, really help you add features into your map uh, once you're past the early stages of just adding information. So uh, these plugins are, are again, point to the community and open source nature of Leaflet, which really is its biggest strength and the strength from which pretty much all of these other points come from, whether that's it being easy for developers to learn, uh, a great community for answers and help, the plugins being super useful, and it being great for doing that early work in your project where you're learning how to do things, you're testing stuff out and you're making prototypes. So that's been my little spiel about Leaflet. I'd really recommend that you get started in it if you're early to your development uh, of maps and you don't really know what you're doing. And yeah, leave a comment below for what you think Leaflet is great or why you don't like Leaflet. And we'll see you in the next video in the series.